Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have an exciting double unboxing today. I was going to film them separately but yeah I'm just in love with both bags so I thought I'd show you both in one. As you've probably guessed from the title one is Balenciaga and one is from Gucci. One is brand new and one is vintage. So we've kind of got both ends of the spectrum going on today. Without further ado and me rambling on, let's get into the first bag. First one is from the handbag clinic. Now they sell pre-loved uh, vintage handbags, accessories, all that kind of stuff. And you can also get your bags restored with them. You can also sell your bags with them. So if you have an old vintage bag that you don't really use anymore, you can sell it on that website. It's the same as the trading websites that I was talking about in my handbag, in my last handbag video, which was my designer handbag collection. Um, I'll leave a link below if you haven't seen that one. So the first bag, I absolutely love this one. Ta-da! So this is the Gucci Jackie bag. Now, if you have seen the last video, you'll remember that I was talking about the fact that they might be re-releasing this bag, um, might be releasing like a different version of it. I know they have like a floral version that's out already, but I've not seen one like this before. So this is a plain black leather, kind of like a, it's almost silky leather. It's got the gold clasp at the front with obviously the Gucci stamp in the middle and to open you simply just press the middle button and this pops open and so you can open the bag. It's got the tiny little gold um, like clasps on the, on the straps and they say Gucci on one side and Gucci on the other side. Uh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. I have to say when I saw it on the website I thought it was the same size as my other one which is probably only to about here, so it is really tiny. So I thought this one would be the same kind of size, but in actual fact, there's loads of room. So you can see from the side, when you open it out, it's quite actually a wide bag. And on the inside, it's got the proper vintage Gucci lining, which I absolutely love. It's all like the old school G's. Obviously, it's got the Gucci label in the back here. And I just... To me, this bag is such a classic, like, the other one that I'm going to show you is a lot more modern, but I feel like this is a real classic bag, you can wear it to the races, you can wear it with a dress, you can wear it casually with jeans and a t-shirt, I just think it's, I just think it's a really, really, really versatile bag. You can have it on your arm, like so, or the straps are actually big enough to fit it over your shoulder, which I really like, because I wasn't expecting that, obviously. I paid £245 for this bag, I think it was like £5 shipping, so it's £250 in total, which to be honest for a bag in this good quality is actually very very good. I know it's vintage and I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, however to me I feel like this is a really classic style and you could probably wear it for years and years and years and no one would even notice that it wasn't a recent release. The bottom has also got like zero wear and tear to it. I don't know who owned it before but I'm pretty sure they didn't use it because there is just no marks, there is nothing wrong with this bag whatsoever. I feel like I got a really good deal here. I'll leave a link below to the handbag clinic so you can check out some of their bags. I know they have some absolutely gorgeous ones on there at the moment and yeah I'm really happy with this one. Now on to the second bag and I am so excited to finally have this in my hands. I have had this bag on hold for about two months, obviously due to um, COVID and everything that's happening, I couldn't actually go and pick the bag up. So, oh, I'm just gonna get it out. So this one is from Balenciaga. This is a shop bought bag. This is not a pre-loved or secondhand one. This was purchased from the Bista store. Um, if you don't know where Bista is, it's like an outlet village. I think I mentioned that in the other handbag video as well. So this one is brand new. Obviously it comes in their little dust bag. I just I have such a big collection of dust bags because they all come in them. But this is the Balenciaga Shopper XS, I think it's called. This is the Shopper tote, Shopping Tote Bag. Um, obviously where this is from Bista, I don't have like all of the tags that maybe would have come with it. Um, 
I have got the original tags and everything like that, but where these are outlet store, they don't necessarily all have the prices on when you buy them, they just have them on the ones in the shop. This is actually smaller than I originally thought, so when I first went into the store I bought some shoes and saw this bag and just thought, oh my god, I'm absolutely in love with it, but just bought some shoes, let's, let's be reasonable. Um, couldn't stop thinking about it after that. Luckily, there is a personal shopper in Balenciaga who I now speak with regularly and he assured me that this bag was still in the store and it would be as soon as I went to pick it up. So I booked in an appointment with him, went to pick it up about two, two days ago, something like that, and I haven't used it yet, so I'm just super excited to use it. It's super cute and it is small, however, it does fit more than I thought it would be able to inside. So when you open it up, it's got like a magnet inside. Let me take out the long strap. It's got like a magnet inside that clips open and closed, which is great if you don't have much in there. I take the tissue out. There's quite a lot of space in there, so I've managed to get my purse, my phone, um, I think it was like a pair of sunglasses and something else in here. So it is actually roomier than I thought it was. On the inside, obviously, it's got the magnet there, and then on the pocket, it's got the little Balenciaga plaque type thing. I think it's a leather plaque, and it's stamped in silver. It's got the two little straps up here, but these can be pulled in. So they go inside here like it would be a cardboard shopping bag. They pull through that way and you can tuck them inside the bag like so. This means you can use the long handle strap without those sort of like poking out or being annoying. Um, this is adjustable, however I kind of like the height it is just for me because it sits just on my hip. And yeah, I just, I'm just so happy with this bag. This was on the more expensive side, so this was £690, but I think originally it was about 900 and something. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was about 900 and something, just from research, because I can't find this exact one. I think there are a couple left at Vista if you wanted to head down or phone them and see if they had any left but I know you can get the other style which is more square so it kind of goes that way round rather than this way round um, and I think they are about eight or nine hundred pounds on like Net-a-Porter or Farfetch or those kind of websites you can still get the other shaped version of this. This is definitely the more modern bag of the two and I think this is probably more of a trend piece whereas the Gucci is more of like a classic piece but I would probably still wear this with the same kind of outfit, so even with like a pretty dress like I'm wearing now, or again like t-shirt and jeans, I'm loving this with like lounge outfits. I tried on a few different lounge kind of matching tracksuit type things this morning, and this works really well. I think it's more of a day bag rather than an evening bag, but I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I feel like I could take this out for dinner, but maybe not kind of out to a bar or something like that. I'd probably use more of like a clutch bag. But I do absolutely love this. I'm going to get so much wear out of it. And yeah, I don't, I haven't ever had a Balenciaga bag before. This is the first one I've had. So I don't know what the um, wear and tear is like. I don't know how they weather. I don't know how long it takes for them to look tatty, I'm not really sure, so I guess I can kind of keep you guys updated on that. But yeah, I'm just super happy with both bags. So there we have my double bag unboxing. I hope you liked them. I am absolutely in love with both bags and I can't wait to style them up. I hope you're all doing really well and don't forget to subscribe, go and follow me on Instagram and I will be back again next week with another video.